what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. If you would, please consider using my code, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there in the center of the screen, also in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And with that green chip mark right there, folks, you can tell I am an epic partner. Here we go with another montage video, folks. This is going to be Victor Isles 81 through 90 for this season. Overall, 689 to 698 two videos or two more victor owls to hit 700 and that will be in the next one because i'm already um approach approaching 120 victor owls had the c word so um really struggling i tried to put some videos out but just the uh just unable to do that um so now i'm better um if you listen to the audio for this video and listen to audio for one or two of the other videos in the past uh, you will definitely see that uh, there is a huge difference. So here we go, folks. Again, we have a total of 10 more Victor Owls in this video. And actually, five of these Victor Owls are going to be Crown Victory Owls. Let's go ahead and take a look um, in the description down below. You'll see some links, and, here, and there'll be a link to this playlist right here. This is all my montage videos. Victor Owls 1 through 10. You can see we got four Crown uh, Victor Owls in that one. 11 through 20, four more in that one there. 21 through 30, and we got six in that video. 31 through 40, and we have another four in that one. 41 through 50, and we have another six in this video here. 51 through 60, and we have four more in that video. 61 through 70, and we've got four in this one. Then the video that I just did, it's already on the channel, 71 through 80. You can see we got another five crown Victor Owls in that one there. Now, when we started off the season, I set four goals. Uh, I wanted to hit Victor, uh, Victor Owls, solo Victor Owls, 700 and 800 in this season. My best is 176 in one season. I've already hit the 700. I'm on the way to 800. Like I said, I'm just a little over 80 Victor Owls away from hitting that. Also, want to get hit a hundred crown Victor Owls, and I've already gotten 55 of those crown Victor Owls. So, actually, I think I said four goals. Maybe there's three. Maybe I'm just forgetting forgetting one. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the skins that we'll be working in this one here. First things first, we have the fridge foregoer. Um, I will tell you, there is an issue with this skin in the description down below. If, as long as I remember, I will put a link to a video that I put together. Um, his hat really messes up your aiming. Um, unfortunately, I think this is probably the last time I'm going to be using that skin. Because basically, this video here is everything to deal with skulls, if you haven't noticed that. You get the fridge for goer, the Yule Trooper, the Oreo, which is a skeleton, the Ghost Rider, which is a skeleton. Then you have Demos, and it's got the skeleton head to it. And then we got the um, Blue Heart. Or black heart, excuse me, which is a skeleton as well. So this this montage here, these ten Victor Owls here are all dealing with skeleton skins that I have because I absolutely love skeletons. Unless there's something with the skin, I um, I don't buy it. And I'll be honest with you, folks, the fridge for goer. Um, if I, you know, I still have all my refund tokens, but I wouldn't refund it once I bought it. But if I saw somebody. Uh, running this skin and saw the problems it had. I mean, I so much dislike this skin because of the hat, I probably wouldn't purchase it. So if it comes up in the item shop again, definitely take a look at that. Make sure you watch that video down below so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, the fridge for Gover, he is Victor Out number 81, number 689. Then we go on to the Yule Trooper. Yule Trooper um, is a Chapter 2 Season 1 skin. By the way, the fridge for Gover is a Chapter 3 Season 1 skin. And it's 82, number 690 overall. Then we have the Oro skin. And that is a Chapter 2, Season 2 skin. Victor Owl number 83, number 691. Crown Victor Owl number 38. Then we move on to the Oro No Glow. And that's what it's called. It's called No Glow. And that is Victor Owl number 84, number 692. Crown Victor Owl number 39. Then we have the, the Oro uh, King. 
that it's called. And that's Victor Al number 85, number 693, Crown Victor Al number 40. And again, Chapter 2, Season 2. And now it's going to bring us to Ghost Rider. Sorry about that, I had a text. Ghost Rider is a Chapter 2, Season 4 skin, Victor Al number 86, number 694 overall, and Crown Victor Al number 1. Then we will move on to Demos Red. Demos is a Fortnite crew skin. And that is Victor Al number 87, number 695 overall, and Crown Victor Al number 42. And again, as a Chapter 2 Season 6 skin. Now there's three different versions of the Demos skin. You have Demos, then you have Demos uh, Green, then you have, you have Demos Glow. So our next Victor Al is going to be the Demos Green. No Crown Victor Al for that. And Victor Al number 88, number 696. And then we have the Crown uh, Demos Green Glow. Victor Al number 89, number 697. And again, no Crown Victor Al for that one there. And actually, we have another one. So we had... Uh, we had six Crown Victor Owls in this video. Just realized that Blackheart had one too. Victor Owl number 90, number 698 is Crown Victor Owl number 43. And that skin is a Blackheart skin. And that is from Season 8. That was the Pirate Season. Um, depending on how long you've been playing Fortnite. Um, that is, um, we had the Pirate Ships all over the place. And that was actually a pretty fun season. I really enjoyed that season. And the uh, Blackheart skin is actually, I think it's got like six different colors to it that you can change. I think the last one is like a goldish color. I think the one before that is a purple. Um, so yeah, let me know um, if you've got that skin. Curious, um, watching this video, how, how when did you start playing Fortnite? I think I actually started in Season 4, Season 5, somewhere around there is when I actually started. And um, actually... Now I don't play Call of Duty no more. Call of Duty has just been trash. I think it's absolutely hilarious that Microsoft has purchased um, Activision. So now maybe we can actually get a decent Call of Duty game. Because um, that's the problem. They have not been doing their jobs. I mean, I just saw a tweet from them not too long ago where Season 2 has been delayed. I mean, things just do not change. So let's go ahead and get into this video here again. This is Victor Owls number 81 through 90. First up is the, and actually, uh, pay attention here, and this is part of that video I was looking at. See how his hat, see how the crosshair is like right next to his hat? And there's a little trick. If somebody sets the ground on fire, just get into the street. The street will not be, will not get put on fire. But look how you're aiming, how, how his crosshair is right next to your hat, especially if you're in an up-close bow like that. Um, in the video that I put together, I slowed that down and everything. Literally, you can see everything to the left of those crosshairs. You cannot see. So if that person is shooting at you from an angle, you can't even see them until you literally get turned all the way on them. So now this is the, the let's see here, the Yule Trooper, number, big guy number 82. And here's a little trick that I like to use, folks. I, I, I carry these um, flare guns around and I use the fireflies. I'm in stage three right now of the um, destroying trees, and stage three is a thousand trees. So I'm at like 860 some odd trees. Uh, if you see fireflies, pick them up and just throw them on some trees. And if you catch the trees on fire, they're going to destroy, and that will count for you. Same thing for a uh, flare gun, and just find. But when you use a flare gun, try to get it around a bunch of trees so you can get like three four five six trees in one shot and it really help you get that like I said I'm already purchasing I'm already on stage three and it's a thousand uh, I think it's maybe it's stage four I think I'm on stage four and it's a thousand trees and I'm sitting on like 860 something right now state in the stage before that was 750 so this is the crown glow or, or excuse me, this is Oreo, not the crown, not, not the crown glow. I'm getting these all mixed up here. Sorry about that. And you can see this is, Vic, this is Crown Victor Al number 38. So our next one is going to be the Oreo No Glow. And you can see there's literally no glow to it whatsoever. Exactly what it says. The Oreo skin, um, it does come with a glider as well as a pickaxe. Still have not purchased the female version. Um, I think I, I might pick her up the next time she is she comes out. 
depending on if there's something else I'm interested in in the shop. And you see that is Crown Victor Island number 39. And that's going to be 692 overall, 84 for the season. Now we're going to be moving on to the uh, Oro King. And this is Victor Island number 85, number 693, Crown Victor Island number 40. And see the King one, I would think that, give me your input here, folks. Um, do you think the glow one should have been like called the king? And then uh, like, you know, because this says no glow um, and this one says king. I would expect something like this maybe be called the no glow. Um, but be called the king, I mean, I don't think this is better than the original Oro skin. I really don't. So we're moving in on this person here. Uh, I'm a non-builder if you didn't pick that up on the uh, thumbnails I showed you for the montage videos and, and the thumbnail for this video here. I use people's builds against them. Let's see, I catch this person underneath this build right here. And this is my um, thing about that. And you're going to see it's going to come up, uh, Crown Victor Al number 40 here. And... Um, when you take and build structures, when those pieces come together, it glows a real bright orange. So you might not be right next to that piece, but because you just put that piece down, it gives somebody that's trying to eliminate you the whereabouts of close to whereabouts you might be located at. When you And, and look at the NPCs jump up and down like, hooray, because I think this was actually Victor out number 700. I don't know what, let's see here, 693. Actually, I can't remember why they was jumping up and down now. I guess, I, I know they was probably trying to get up on that. I thought there was something special with that video. If there was, I don't remember what it was. This is the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider number 86, number 694. Crown Victor Island number 41. Chapter 2, Season 4, Skin. And, um, like these pieces right here, you see how when they come together, when that fit, when that finishes, it, it's going to glow a real bright orange. And when you're not, when you're a non-builder and you don't take and use... Um, builds like this like I'll put walls up what, what I call defensive walls and stuff like that it really allows you um, the extra advantage over the other player because they don't know where you're at now every once in a while I might I might get in a bush but I'm usually standing by a tree using a building uh, or in somebody else's build and I find actually absolutely funny the fact that if I am um, like on top of a building with the with the, the ceiling busted out and I'll have a ramp up so I can look out people will say I'm camping what is the difference from that as opposed to me building four walls in a ramp and doing the same exact thing I mean, it's just it's I find it absolutely insane you see crown victor on number 41 right there we can go ahead and move on to this is the moss red I catch this person, they was at, down at the bottom, they was hanging out down there by the snowman. And they came up the hill, and I know, I know they're down there, but they don't know where I'm at. So I'm just being patient, right there they are. See, they go, they go to get in that bush, and I just take and light them up. They was hiding in front of that van, what they was doing, they should have stayed there. If they would have stayed in front of that van, I wouldn't have known where they was. And they might have had a you know nice sniper shot on me or what before I realized where they was. But again, you see this is Crown Victor Out number 42, and this is the Demos Red version, chapter 2, season 6, Victor Out number 87, number 695 overall. Our next one's going to be the Demos Green. Now the difference between the Demos Green and the Demos Green Glow is but well, first off, the green glow. He's got like um, veins and everything on his arms, and you'll see there's just a little more glow to him. It's still green, but there's but like I said, you can see like veins and everything. It looks really cool. And here I see this person's crown up here, and I can tell they're up there. See how, how they're building those pieces, and they just pick that crown up. So I'm just gonna be patient. You know, let them do what they what they want to do. They're just shooting around, making themselves an easy target. And it's just one of those things where patience is a virtue. They're going to pop up one too many times. And the other thing I like to do is I like to use the uh, NPCs. I've actually got a video, if I remember, I'll put a link to it in the description. Well, there is a, uh, here we go, 
pow. See, because the patience is a virtue, folks. You can see the NPC right there, Lieutenant John. Um, I'll show you how to run uh, the squads in solo. And can I get in trouble for it? So again, that link to that video will, will be down below. You can see I earned a crown victory out for that one there. But yeah, uh, I'm always hiring NPCs. I, har I hardly ever have any... Um, uh, gold bars because I use them all. I don't even think I don't even think I've hit 5,000 one time this season. Because you can hire as you can hire up to three NPCs at one time. And actually, I have a video that will. I think it's going to be in the next one, or no, two montage videos from this one here. You can, um, it should be on the channel already in a short, if I'm not mistaken. But it's where, um, two or three times last season, the NPC was able to get me a victory route. So I figured, I've been doing this all season long, trying to get the NPC to get me a victory route. And I finally had it happen. Where the NPC not only did it get me a victory route, got me a crown victory route. So, um, again, I believe that the YouTube short is on the channel for that um, the link to the YouTube short um, playlist will be in the description I got this this person at the top of the hill they was just shooting at me and they stopped shooting at me and I think it's because the other person is shooting at them now see now I don't know I know where one person is I don't know where the other one is so I'm just trying to sit right here try to find out you know where this other person is and once I know where the other person is I'll go ahead and move in see here's Here's the thing, folks. Very rarely do I put myself in the middle of um, two different people's fights. Every now and then I will, but most of the time I don't. Oh, I remember this one here. This is the guy that's inside the snowman. Yeah, you can see him right there. He's in the snowman. So I, abs I, I literally go all the way around the bush and sneak up on him. But uh, the reason why I don't do that is, is because if you take and uh, you don't eliminate one of them, you could have two people shooting at you. And when I busted the snowman, it knocked him all the way out into the storm. Which then all I had to do is keep putting pressure on him. But, um, so then you might have two people shooting at you. And I just take and eliminate that situation. So if these two people do their fighting and everything, and you can see right here, this is crown victory out number 43. Let the two people do their fighting, because what's gonna happen is after they get done fighting, they're gonna have to reload their weapons, weapon or weapons. They're gonna have to redo their health, redo their shield, or, or all three of them. So that gives you the opportunity to take and move in and get an easy elimination. So keep that in mind. If you're somebody that struggles getting victory rounds in this video, or in this game, in Fortnite, I couldn't urge you more to Go either watch my YouTube shorts, but I have over 120 YouTube shorts. They're all on a playlist. Just start the playlist, and I mean they're, they're one minute apart, under a minute, one minute or, or under a minute. And um, you can see the way I get those eliminations in my YouTube shorts. I try to stick all the eliminations in that short. On these montage videos, um, that's only the last elimination of the game, and there's a little more footage to that. So. Yeah, go watch those YouTube shorts or, or watch my montage videos and you'll see how I get a lot of these victory owls. And if you're somebody that actually struggles, like, there was just one person that um, made a comment on one of my videos and they're like, stop sh or, um, stop moving while you're shooting. And, you know, he was, they was giving me some advice, so I don't, I don't you know, I'm not knocking them for their advice. But this is my logic behind that. The reason why you always see me moving when I'm shooting is I'm not a stationary target. If I am moving while I'm shooting, first off, if they're using a sniper rifle and I stay still, it's going to be an easy elimination with them, depending on what sniper rifle they have. And, you know, you saw how I picked that guy off at the top of the box because they stood still. If you are moving, they have to move with you when they're trying to shoot you. So, you know, yeah, they might still hit you, but they're going to hit you a whole lot more if you're standing still. So that's my logic behind that. So again, um, you know, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. And um, 
if and like I said I get a lot and like I said because if my YouTube shorts I put all the eliminations in there and people are always commenting on the bots I can't do anything about the bots I wish I could I literally cannot stand the bots and I'll be, be honest with you the bots this season are a million times worse than they was last season there's been times that I have shot bots and the loot that they was carrying was better than the loot that I had. I literally, sometimes I've switched out my entire, um, my entire loadout because the one they dropped was better than what I currently had. I think it's absolutely insane. I don't think, you know, I've seen bots open up chests. You know, they put up walls, they throw grenades. Well, I think this season is when they started throwing grenades at you. Um, but, yeah, so, and, they, and they, you know, they will tear stuff down. They will tear walls down and stuff. So when you are taking and picking and eliminating them and you're going over there, you're getting materials, you're getting weapons, you're getting ammo, shield, health. I mean, quite frankly, I don't think a boss should have any inventory in it whatsoever because you really cannot tell how many bots are in a game and actually I'm really thinking about making a video about this because I can go through like I said folks I'm sitting on almost 120 victorials I can go through each one because I save every montage video like this and every YouTube short I save those files so all you do is open up Vegas and I can go pull those clips off and it's just insane on sometimes the amount of loot that a bot will give you but people, you know, they leave comments on my videos like, you're in a bot lobby and you're bot this, bot that. Like, I can really control it. And I think that's just absolutely hilarious. People have to understand that A, you don't need to be a builder to play Fortnite. People need to get that concept out of their head. And B, they need to remove bots from this game. I would rather wait longer in a lobby for a game to start then I would to play uh, with bots but on the flip side of that you look at take Call of Duty for example I was watching um, can't remember if it was Murder Show or 402 Thunder and it was talking about how bad um, Modern Warfare is and that you know when you go in there now apparently people are taking their DDoS in the servers because they have the crossplay but if you take and turn crossplay off so you're only playing on like your Xbox or your PlayStation or PC um, well I guess PC would be out of it because that's where all the problem makers are so, so either Xbox or the PlayStation it takes forever to get a game and you literally sit there forever to get a game because there's not enough players. And I think that's the reason why Fortnite has so many bots in their lobbies. I mean, folks, when you go into a game, just look at your um, the, battle, the, the bus before it takes off. You're going to see a lot of default skins in there. A lot of default skins. And at least I do, do in my game. Now, I do know that they are having an issue where... Even if um, it's it's showing a default skin, but it's not really a default skin. And the way you can verify it is, if you go into theater, um, like let's say if somebody eliminates you, prime example here. Let's take a look at this. Remember this elimination right here at the beginning of the video? Um, I told you how there's a problem with the fridge for goers hat. Okay. Notice you can see the skin. There's only two people left. This is the same exact clip. I don't know if this part of the gameplay is actually in this. I believe it is because that's when I came across the road. But notice how it's a default skin. Okay. But look at what it is when I get the elimination. Because if you notice the yellow circle in the minimap, I've got the uh, bounty on this person. Take a look at this. Pause in three, two, one. Pick it back up in three, two, one. You can see that person is wearing a Batman skin. And actually, even still, if you look through there, you can actually see that is not a Batman skin. That is a default skin 
that just got eliminated. So, and as I mentioned once before, I think I'm pretty sure I did a video about this. Epic Games don't reach out to anything. Anytime you it, you make complaints, they don't say anything about it. They don't reach out to you. And the reporting system is absolutely horrible. Because they want you to send a screenshot. Well, how in the world are they supposed to know what you're talking about in that screenshot? If it's an audio issue, how are you supposed to be able to say, hey, this portion of the game, I had an audio issue. Here's a screenshot from that portion of the game. If they would set it up so you can add text to your bug reporting, let them know exactly what is going on, then they would know. But this has been going on all season, folks, all season long. Like again, this is a fridge for goer. This was Victor Al 81. And like I said, I think this was actually probably the first time that I actually had the bounty on the very last player that I know that I caught and noticed the difference because when you eliminate them that's when it comes up that you complete the bounty and it's just absolutely insane the amount of problems we've had this season with Fortnite is crazy literally crazy and don't know what it is I really don't I just hope they can get their finger on, on the things because they're starting to get people to come back play in the game, and but if you if you start having problems like this, then you're gonna have people leaving the game again and going and playing other games. Prime example of the reason why I no longer play Call of Duty. I have played every single year of Call of Duty, folks. Every one. You know, I'm not I'm not young. I, I have I have both of my kids have um, went to college. Okay, and. They, they, they're doing very good for themselves but again I have played call every single season of Call of Duty over multiple different gamer tags and this is the first one I said I had enough I'm not purchasing the game no more not until they take and they treat their fan base the way they should I mean their their player base is so low now Back in the day, when you logged into your game lobby, it would tell you in either the lower left or lower right hand corner how many people are signed into the server. They don't even tell you that no more because they don't want you to know because the player base is so low on that game. And I go back to the same situation I was talking about again. I don't know if it was Murder Show or 402 Thunder was talking about that if they don't have crossplay on, it takes them forever to find a match because the player base is not there. But then you got Warzone, War, Warzone that is nothing but hackers. I mean, I can't tell you how many videos I've watched of Tim the Tapman spectating a a hacker in Warzone. And there was one guy that um, I think he was using the gamer tag Tim the Fat Man. And then um, there was one one video of his I watched. I don't think it was the same guy. I think it was another hacker he was watching, where the kill death ratio was just like uh, insane. And this guy was shooting people. Like if, they, if I'm not mistaken, he was on he he was on a rooftop and shot this person across the map, and you couldn't even see the person through the building and everything. It was it was just like you gotta be kidding me. And and all they do is. If those guys like Tim the Tap Man, it's got the one-on-one -on -one connection. They report these people. All they do is they ban their accounts. They try to make another account. So again, it's just absolutely insane. We don't have those kind of problems in Fortnite, thank goodness. But um, yeah, it's just you know until the developers start taking and um, treating their, their fan base the way they should, like they used to back in the day. And before we get out here, I'll tell you a, another um, nasty, evil trick that they did to people and a lot of people um, left the game after this as well if you are a Call of Duty player then you will, rem you will remember this um, a few seasons ago a few years ago I can't remember which Call of Duty it was they came out with the zombie chest okay but this th this is where it got tricky though if you took and wanted to play the beta you can only get the beta if you purchased the digital copy which means it had to come from Microsoft 
or it had to come from Steam or whoever you use for your PC or it had to come from Sony. Well, about two weeks, two to three weeks before the game comes out, they released this chest that it was like $200 for this chest. Really cool chest. My son's actually got one. Really cool chest. And uh, it come with a steel book with the game inside of it. So then if you wanted that chest, you couldn't get a refund for your your digital content because they don't issue digital uh, refunds on digital contents. Um, but like I said, if you went to GameStop and got it, then you could. Um, but with this situation here, you can only play the beta if you took and had the digital purchase of the, of the Call of Duty game. So people had, had done that, paid for it, you know, they, they'd taken the money out of their bank accounts and everything. Then they released this chest, so if they want this chest, they are then stuck with two copies of the game. Because they can't get a refund for the digital version. And the chest came with a steel book case with the game inside of it. And they waited until like two or three weeks before the launch of the game to release that. And that was one of those things where there was only so many of them. So they knew exactly what they was going to do. It was a marketing issue. And again, it's just another time where they took and they, they burnt their fan base. So again, sorry, I didn't mean to get off topic. This, I know this video is 31 minutes long, but uh, maybe I'll put a little note ahead beginning of this but um, that's 31 minutes without me doing any editing or anything but yeah so it's just I'm just done with Call of Duty and so now I strictly play Fortnite Far Cry 6 and then we've got um, Dying Light 2 coming out uh, next month too so get my hands on that you'll start seeing some Dying Light content thank you for watching thank you for giving me your time I really do appreciate it this is the bulldozer you get your killing on I'm out of here Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be a dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.